So, today I'm gonna be cooking brownies. Yes, not for me, for my neighbors. You know, I'm doing this keto thing, so I can't, you know, I can't mess with the sweets. I might make some keto brownies, and I might hook y'all up with that recipe too, but right now I'm gonna be cooking some uh, brownies for my neighbors. You know, you gotta sometimes look out for them, pre thank them and appreciate them. You know what I'm saying? Show, show them some love, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know what you might need help with and I got some great neighbors. They've been my neighbors for about five years. So we're gonna get started. First thing I'm gonna start out with is um, some deluxe candy coated chocolate. Uh, these are just food line chocolates. And what I did was I chopped them all up, see? So that's about, let's see. Um, this is a pound, so I chopped up two, this is about two pounds right here that I got chopped up. So I'm gonna probably take a half of this and I'm gonna melt it. And then the other half, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it, all right? So, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is I done chopped up the, the chocolate, but now we're going to go ahead and get started with the rest of it. So, we're going to start out with uh, three-fourths of butter. Put that in there. We're going to add our uh, one and one-fourth cup of sugar. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're going to beat this up, stir it up. All right, guys, so now that we've got this all stirred up, the butter and everything mixed in, um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two eggs. Okay, so let's add our two eggs. I'm going to stir this up. Get that in there and make it smooth and creamy. See what I'm saying? Some eggs in there. Like I said, brother, I don't eat the brownies, but the finished product is going to be amazing. You just watch my smoke, because that's what I do. All right. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to need our, we're going to get two uh, teaspoons of vanilla. So this is one, this is two, and then we're going to Mix this in with the rest of it. So let's go ahead and start the mixing. Boom, 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 boom. Get that in there, get that sweetness. Yeah, get that vanilla in there. There we go. Boy, y'all gonna be tripping when y'all see the finished product. That's what we got right now, okay. All right, guys, now we about to mix in the chocolate, the chocolate. Now here we go, we got some melted chocolate. Boom, get that in there. Melted me some chocolate. Remember I told you I was gonna take, out of those uh, two pounds, I was gonna melt me some chocolate. Um, basically you gotta make sure you use some butter, and I use some heavy whipping cream to help me thin that chocolate out. So there, that's my chocolate. And then we're gonna mix that in. There we go, baby. Look at there. There we go. They don't call me Chef Steve for nothing. That's how we do. Look at that. Boy, that look good. Woohoo! Boy, it's gonna be some happy people, boy. All right. There we go with that. All right. All right, guys. So the next step is we're going to add our flour, our um, cocoa, and we're going to add our salt, okay? So we're going to sift this in there, boom. And then we're going to put the flour in there too, might as well, boom. 
And then we're going to sift it in here. Get all the lumps and stuff out of there. See, this is how you got to do it so you don't have no lumps in there. You don't want no lumps of cocoa or none of that crap. You just want to make sure you sift that all in there really good so it'll be smooth. You want your stuff to be smooth. And then once you get that in there, we're going to mix it. So we're going to mix this in there. Oops. Threw some of it out, but that's okay. There we go. Now I'm going to talk about something, man. I don't do a lot of salt, but let me explain something about salt. Um, salt is one of those things, man, that you don't need a lot of because you don't want to put too much salt in stuff because if you put too much salt in it, then what happens is the salt overtakes the flavor. You know what I'm saying? But in chocolate, salt actually helps bring out the flavor in your chocolate. So give me a second. We're going to add our little salt. Alright, so now we're going to add our teaspoon of salt. And we're going to stir it up. There we go. Yep. Alright. All right, guys, so we got this part done. Now, here comes the good stuff. We're gonna pour in this chocolate, mm. and we're gonna mix it in. There we go, we're gonna mix this in, like this. Right. And actually, I'm gonna get me a big spoon so I can mix it in a little better. All right, I'm gonna mix this in. Give me a second, I'll be right back with you. So guys, here's my secret right here. So what I'm doing is, this is the secret ingredient. These are, I'm crushing up some cherries to go in my brownies, right? So it's something about the cherries and the chocolate that mix together. Y'all have eaten chocolate covered cherries before, right? Well, you're gonna, crush these up like this and then we're going to take this and we're going to add to the rest of our batter and that's going to be the secret ingredient right there so after I get these crushed up and stirred in there I'll get right back with you okay peeps so this is what we got right here now that we got our pan greased up see what you got to do is get your, get your pan greased up. See, you got, see I got the pan? Put me a little bit of flour in there. Or you can get you some um, some of that uh, paper that you can put in, but I just like to do the flour and and uh, you know spray so that it'll be non-stick. So when it come out, you know what I'm saying? We can cut it and do what we gotta do with it. So I'll get, done, I'll get back with you with the finished product. All right, so um, I got my brownies in the pans and they're ready to, to cook right now. Now, let me tell you this. You wanna cook these, you wanna uh, put these in the oven, bake them for at uh, 325 for 20 to 25 minutes. However, I'm gonna be a little different today and I'm gonna show you how. Let me show you this, okay, hold on. So I'm gonna cook these in my air fryer, okay? Now, this, is uh, the Emeralds uh, large capacity air fryer right here. But um, basically what I'm going to do is set this joker here to bake. If I can find it. There it is. Is that it? Nope. One up. That, I'm going to set that to bake. See? Got it on bake. And that's going to be, we want to do 325, so we're going to turn this to 325 for 20 minutes. OK, 
Okay. Well, that's 18. 20 minutes. See? In the air fryer. Okay. So I'm going to throw these babies in and then I'm going to show you the finished product when I get done. All right, guys. That's the finished brownie. Look at that chocolate. Look at that gooey. Look at that. Ooh. That's what it looks like, baby. And I can't taste it for you because, well, I, I taste it a little bit, but I can't really taste it for you much because of my keto. So with that being said, that's the recipe. And to my, uh, for my cherry fudge chocolate brownies, hey, you hush over there, wife. And that's what we got there. Peace.